Hello. In this video, we are going to make a simple drop down menu in TK Enter uh, using Python 3. So, to start with, we're going to import the module TK Enter and I'm going to import it as TK. So, this is just a way of pulling in the resources that I need to do this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a main window. Um, and the main window is essentially this window you have with your, your closed, your maximize, and your restore size. Uh, I will call it root. And we're going to go into TK module or the TK inter module. Um, and I'm going to use the constructor TK. So a constructor is a special method called to create something. Um, it's only called once and they're always spelled with capitals. So this constructs our main window. Now remember this doesn't display our main window, it simply kind of builds it and then we have to actually call um, an instance method to display the root. So I say root dot main loop. And then I'm going to put one line of code after this, print and program. So what happens here is we construct our main window, then we display it and we kind of set up an event driven programming environment where we wait for the user to do something. Um, and then when I close the window, the program will go on and print and program. So let's save this. Let's give this a try. And there it is. Notice how it kind of holds here. That's because um, this window is kind of using the resources right now. And the minute I X this out, end program. Perfect. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to make a list. And I'm going to make a list of constants called options. Now, I've capitalized the name of this because these are constants. That means they won't change during the program. Um, a kind of convention that programmers use is that when we have a constant in a program is we'll spell it with all caps because then we know that is a constant. And we're going to put eggs and we're going to add bunny uh, and we're going to put chicken. Now the thing about this is this is a list of strings. So the way to think about this is my list, my list is called options and there are three elements with index 0 to 2. So if I want to do something like print options at 0, that would print out the word eggs. If I printed options at 1, that would print out bunny. If I printed out options at 2, that would print out chicken. And you can access each of these strings just like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this um, special variable. I'm going to call it var. And I'm going to create this thing called a string var. Now what this is, is it's a special object you can create when you're using tkinter. And it helps track what, what your drop-down menu is set to. And I'm going to tie that to the root. And then what I do is I say var, and I'm going to set the value of var using the instance method set. So the implied object is var, and I'm going to set the var, and I'm going to set it to options at zero. And what this means is that initially um, the var value, which is going to keep track of whatever option is selected, is going to be set to eggs. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a function to it using what's called a trace function. And what trace does is, is it allows me to allows me to keep track of keep track of when, um, or sorry, not keep track, it allows me to execute a function whenever um, something happens to this variable. And so we start off with the mode and we put a w mode, which means write. And then I'm going to call a function called change, which I haven't written yet. So let's come up here and let's write a definition called change. And right now we're just going to say print running change. So if I save this and run it, it looks no different than what we had before, except for what we've done is we've done a lot of the backend stuff. We've kind of set up the stage for managing this drop-down menu. So now what we have to do is we have to actually create it. So I'm going to call my drop-down menu, drop-down menu, um, and we need that we use an option menu. So again, we go into the TK module and we construct an option menu and there's a couple parameters I have to give it. First parameter is going to be root, and that's going to be the, the main window that I pack it into. The second parameter is going to be my string bar that keeps track of changes. And then I'm going to pass in the different options. So I want this to have option 0, options 1, 
and options too. Now, this is a little bit of a longer way to do it, but for now I'm going to do it this way. So essentially, I'm creating this drop-down menu using an option menu constructor. I'm going to put it in the root panel. I'm going to tie that string var to it, and then I'm going to pass in all the things that I want. And then finally, I'm going to say drop down menu dot pack. So I'm going to pack it in there. So now if I save this, and I, oh, I have to kill my old version that's running. So let's just go over here and click that. Oh, there we go. And here is my drop down menu. So you see it starts off at eggs. And if I pull, select this, I can scroll down to bunny. And I get a little error here. So this is a common error that that you'll see from time to time. And this is um, when the function is expecting something. Um, and we have to tell it that um, we're going to pass something into it. It turns out that when I trace a function, I actually pass something into it. Now, a really quick way to manage this is just put star args. And what star args means is that this function could take any combination of parameters. Remember, the thing about Python is that Python is designed such that you can pass whatever you want to a function, whereas a language like Java is very specific in what you have to pass. So this just says, be prepared to take anything. So I can save this. I can terminate my last one. I can give this a run. And now I can drop down and select the different one. So running change, running change. Now, I think, I haven't tested this yet, but let's take a little risk. I think I can call this just event, because I think essentially it sends a single parameter that outlines the event that is being, that's being changed. So this is a bit of a cleaner way to do it. Oh, I guess not. I can see down here, actually, if I pull this up a bit. Change takes one position argument, but three were given. So I guess I would have to do a little more reading here about this this event and pass it whatever those three parameters are. To be honest, I don't know what they are right now. So I'm just going to put star arcs. All right, we'll have to look that up. Okay, so let's quit this. Now let's just do one last thing here. Now what I could do is if I say print, and I can say, remember, what's happening here is every time that I change that drop-down menu, um, I run this function change, and I can access var now, and var is tied to that drop-down menu. So if I print var.get, meaning take the var variable and get whatever value it's assigned, and I run this, let's drag this down here, there it is, bunny. There it is, chicken. So what I can do now is I could write some logic here. I could put some if statements in here or whatever I might want. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.